Hello, this is Dr. Alex Vernon, and this is a little video to help you learn how to use the descriptive statistics capabilities of Excel that are supplied through the Analysis Toolkit. Here we have uh, two variables, both quantitative variables, height and weight. Both of these would be ratio variables. There are 15 observations in the data set. We're not looking at relationships, just univariate statistics for height and for weight. Note, we're going to go to the Data tab, and then go over to a Data Analysis Toolkit. We got that from Add-ins. There's another video that shows how to get that add-in. I'm going to select Descriptive Statistics from the list of tools. I'm going to click OK. And we get a box. I'm going to grab the data we want, including the labels. Just the data. I'm going to tell it we have the labels, so it'll include it for better output the data are in columns, that box is, is clicked. We're going to click Summary Statistics. I'm going to leave off the confidence intervals for right now. We can do that later. I'm going to have this data go into a new worksheet in the same workbook, and I'm going to call it Output. Column Data. I'm going to click OK. Magically, out pops Descriptive Statistics. Pretty good battery of Descriptive Statistics for both height and weight. I'm going to widen it out so I can see all the labels for the descriptive statistics. And I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. I'm going to move the height and weight labels to be right on top of the numbers. I'm also going to delete the redundant column in C. So now we have a pretty clean table for height and weight, two different variables and their descriptive statistics. We have mean, mode, and median, common measures of central tendency, standard deviation, variance, and range. Those are measures of the variation and to note that these are sample measures. So if you have population data, you're going to need to alter the standard deviation and the variance to be correct. 15 observations note. We go back and double check with the data. We started out with 15 observations, so you want to make sure that lines up. I hope this has been helpful and it'll make things easier for you in Excel.